There's no question, cars have become more complicated. Computers on four wheels. And like the computers we all carry around in our pockets, many cars are transmitting data wirelessly now. If question one passes in Massachusetts, anyone could access the most personal data stored in your vehicle. Accessing vehicle data is really what this ballot question is about, but that statement doesn't provide all the context. The language of the bill says this is for mechanical data, not personal data like from a GPS app. That's not to say there still aren't questions about data security. Auto manufacturers want to keep the data to themselves, and their ad says it's a matter of personal safety. The Federal Trade Commission warns your address could be paired with your garage codes to give easy access to your home. Five investigates found that claim is very out of context. The FTC has warned car owners about the personal information in their car, but they were urging owners to delete personal information before selling their vehicle, not in relation to this issue. Vote no on one. Keep your data safe. We're calling that statement spin. Experts we talk to point out if sharing that data has some risk, then you're already at risk because car companies and dealers already have access to it. There is some truth to it because question one would make the data available to more people, potentially increasing risk. The big automakers and their expensive dealerships are trying to scare you. The Yes on One campaign is countering with their own ad campaign, citing the former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis. But what they don't tell you is he's a paid consultant to the campaign. Big auto companies are starting to restrict access to your car's mechanical data to force consumers to dealerships for overpriced repairs. We're grading that as mostly false. While access to the data is starting to be restricted, it's largely not forcing consumers to dealerships for repairs, at least right now. Independent garages have access to onboard electronics through a car's data port. As far as we know, the data that is being shared wirelessly via the auto service shops with the cloud is the same data that repair people can get via the, the port under the dashboard. Cybersecurity expert Paul Roberts is in favor of the right to repair, especially when it comes to electronics. But he says question one is about access to data being transmitted wirelessly by your car. Right to repair is about protecting consumer choice in car repair. We're grading that claim as mostly true. While consumer choice is alive and well today, it may not be in the future if vehicle data moves to the cloud. And experts argue that could restrict your choice. They say passing question one will ensure access to that data no matter where it is. And the expert we spoke with, who is an expert in cybersecurity, says this issue, if nothing else, should raise your awareness about how much information your car is collecting and who has access to it. Yeah, yeah, that's a legitimate point. So, Karen, boil it down for us. What does yes on question one mean? So a yes on question one would support requiring the car manufacturers to give independent repair shops greater access to your wireless data that's being collected in your car. Now a no on this question would keep the status quo, would keep that information exclusively with the auto manufacturers and their official dealers. Ed? Karen Anderson, thank you for the information.